these vectors. I want to check if these vectors files are real or not. How to check? I write the vectors in a matrix, so I show the pivot in all the rows. Yes, yes. Plus C4, V4. Again, if I want to answer the question if they span or not, so I can just put the vectors V1, 2, V4 in a matrix and then reduce. To the right hand side. And check if I can get how many pivots span are three. Three. Three, right? So here I omitted the right hand side and put only this vector we want to three four. One has a cut bit, I wouldn't get it because you get the spin in the RP. Whenever I can bitch for the whole rest of the This is what I'm going to talk about today. So according to this matrix, actually, this is in national form, right? So I can say that I have three pivots. Then they span of three, right? What is the difference between this example and the previous one? Here you have a redundant vector. This is an extra vector in R3, but only these guys can span R3. So there is some dependence between this vector and these guys. So actually, you can represent this one as linear combination of your vectors, right? So this vector didn't add any new information, so this is a redundant one, and these guys only span R3. So our new uh, we work today with the linear independence between vectors. So let's illustrate the concept through two examples. The first one, if I gave you this uh, set of vectors, and if I ask you to try to represent any vector of, the, of them as linear combination of the other, can you do that? Can you represent any? In any vector of them as linear combination of the others. For example, this guy as linear combination of this guy. Any of them cannot be actually linear combination of the others. Any of them cannot be actually linear combination of the Actually, this one in uh, x direction and this one in y direction and this one in z direction. So you can try a vector in z direction as a linear combination of vectors in x and y direction. A linear combination of these guys would be the x y plane containing these vectors, which is the x y plane. Okay. okay, so in this case, I can write any, okay, any of them as a linear combination of the other. So I say that this set of vectors is a Linearly independent set. This is the definition of linearly independent set. No vector can be expressed as linear combination of the others. Okay? This is in general. Alpha in general, how do you know? Here, this is a simple example, right? One in X, one in Y, one in Z. In general, we investigate this system. I'll show you why we investigate this one. I try to write C1, V1 plus 2, V2 plus C3, V3 equals 0 and solve this system of equation. This is a system in the unknown C's, C1 to 3. So I'm going to solve this system of equations. These guys equal to 0. Now to solve this system, Write your system in a matrix form. So I'm going to write 2, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 4, 0, 0. Actually, this is a homogeneous system, if you remember. A homogeneous system has two cases. Here's the previous solution, which is the zero vector, or infinite number of solutions. Right? So in this 
this case what we have trivial one or different trivial one trivial one yeah. then I have a force if 3 equals 0, 3 c2 equals 0, 2 c1 equals 0, so just c1 equals c2 equals c3 equals the trivial solution, which is its unique solution. Right? So I say that this equation can only be satisfied if I put all the constants equal to C. Okay, look at this equation again. I say that this equation cannot be satisfied unless I put all the constants equal to C. Let's see another example for vectors that are linearly dependent. These vectors actually in these examples are linearly independent. Let's see another example. Look at these vectors, for example. Can you write any of these vectors as a linear combination of the others by inspection directly without solving? V3 is the sum of V2 plus V1 plus V2. So we have V3 equal to 2v1 plus v2. Let's see, uh, let's investigate also in this example this equation. We have to write a system c1 v1 plus c2 v2 plus c3 v3 equal to 0 and see what I get. If you do that for this example, I get this echelon form after the reduction. Okay? So I put this back to the point of the zero and then do the reduction until I reach this guy. According to this guy, you have infinite number of solutions for the constants or the trivial like the previous example. You have infinite number of solutions. This is again a homogeneous system, okay, but I have in this case two pivots only. So I have one p variable, which is c3, right? So let's read the general solution. So the first equation is actually c1 plus 2 c3 equal to 0. And the second equation is c2 plus c3 equal to so our free value is C3. And then read your uh, favorite variables or basic variables subject to the free variables. So C1 equal minus 2 C3 and C2 equal Let's get these constants and substitute. In the original equation. So take these guys and put them here. So you get minus 2 C3 C1 plus minus C3 C2. Plus C3, C3 equals Right? And we say that C3 is three value. So you can put C3 in a number and get a solution for your equation. So let's, for example, put C3 equal to 1. What happens if you put C3 equal to 1? Get minus 2, V1, minus plus B3 equal to C. If you look at this equation, this is actually what we got by inspection, which is this one. Right? The same? So actually we solve this equation 
and check if you have a solution different from the zero if a solution then you will get a relation between the vectors like this one so we say in this case that the vectors are linearly dependent so to differentiate between the two cases that the vectors are linearly dependent or linearly independent in both cases I'm going to solve this equation this equation has either trivial solution or infinite number of solutions. If you get the trivial solution, so this cannot be satisfied unless all the constants are zeros, then there is no relation between the vector, linear relation, so the vectors are linear in the past. If you get infinite number of solutions, like this case, so it gets some relation between the vectors, so the vectors are linearly. Dependent. Okay? So to check the dependence, we have only this case. In this case, the vectors are independent. In this case, the vectors are dependent. Example? By inspection, now so the, are these vectors linear or this set of vectors? We talk, uh, talking about set of vectors. Is this set of vectors linear dependent or linear independent? Independent? You cannot write any vector term as a linear combination of the other. This is the mean. Dependent or vector to be Dependent. Let's write the augmented matrix and see. I'm going to solve this system, right? So I put 1, 0, 2, 0, 1, 1. The right hand side equal to 0. How many tables do we have? Do we, have, do we need any reduction? Or it is in national 4? It is in national 4, right? How many tables do we have? 1 for C1 and 1 for C3. So C2 is 3 by it. C2 is 3. So according to what I said, so the vectors should be linearly dependent. Okay? Now to get the dependence between the vectors, let's create this as equation and get the constants. So from the last equation, we have, you have C3 equal to 0. From the first equation, C1 equal negative 2C2, right? <coughs> Take your constant, substitute back in this equation. So what do we get? Minus 2C2, C1. Plus C2, C2 equal to 0 equals 0. So if you put C2 equal 1, you will get some relation between the vectors, which is V2 equal to 2V1. And it's clear here that V2 is double V1. So there is some linear relation between your vectors. This one can be written as linear combination of the other, so the set is linearly dependent. The other way, if you cannot write any of them as linear combination of the other, the set is linearly dependent. Even if you can write this guy as linear combination of these guys, but the set still is called linearly dependent set. Because I can write this one as linear combination of this one. Like what if I change these vectors? It's going to be something like this. Any number then 
Nazir. This guy will be zero. Is this set of vectors uh, linear independent or dependent set? You cannot write any of them as linear combination. Think about it. number of 
solution, then, then the columns are linear DT factor. So you simply take the mat and say, you can omit the right hand side, which should be over zero, and do the reduction. <coughs> you can write this guy or omit. And then reduce. <coughs> something like this, what do we say? The columns are linearly dependent or independent. Okay, can I represent one of them with the other Do we have the previous solution only for the C's? Or infinite term? The previous solution only, right? The TNC3 equals 0, that your three pivots. You have a unique solution and the unique solution for the homogeneous system is the previous solution, the zero solution. So here the columns are linearly independent, right? Now let's see by inspection. If I give you only two vectors and ask you to check if they are linearly dependent or not. How to check if only two vectors are linearly dependent? If okay. they are linearly dependent, then you can write one of them as linear combination of the other, which means it is multiple of the other. So we check that they are parallel or not. So these vectors are parallel. The same line. This guy is not this guy. So these vectors are linearly dependent. <laughs> They are on the same line. So can these guys span? Let's get back to the span. Can these guys span R2? No. no. no because they right. are on the same line. Yes. Two vectors. Dependent cannot span R2. Let's change one of the coordinates from the second to the first one. We get here 2 instead of 1. In this case, are these guys parallel? No. They are not parallel. Okay. So the vectors are linearly independent. Be something like this. Can these guys span R2? They can span R2. So to span R2, you need actually two vectors to be linearly independent. If they are dependent, they will span on line. So if they are independent, they will span up. If I ask you to check if these vectors are linearly independent or not. Can you get it by inspection? I'm going to solve this uh, with course. But by inspection, can you get the answer? Yeah, they are for are these guys linearly independent? How many pivots can you get? How can I go on? Let's write them in a matrix. So we say a plane in R3, even if the plane is XY plane. 
pair, don't say R. R2 when you have vector of two components. So these vectors when you solve, we get the second case that you get infinite number of solutions for this equation and the vectors will be linearly dependent. Right? So three vectors that are linearly dependent in R3, like this guy, would not span R3 because they are linearly dependent on the three vectors. They actually, if you look at the numbers, actually W is the sum of these guys, if you want. So this is U, V, X, Y, J, and W is the sum. They also in X, Y, J, so they are linearly dependent and cannot span R3. This changes the third component of the third vector, B3. I'm to change this guy, B3. So are these vectors going to span R3? Yes. What do you expect? هما لينيرلي اندبندنت فهما يقدروا يستنوا ار 3 طبعا عشان تصوت صح لازم احطهم كده واعمل الريدكشن وطلع 3 فيبر سكوي يبقى كده لينيرلي اندبندنت 3 فيكتورز ان ار 3 يقدروا يعملوا سبان ار 3 لو بصيتها بالجيومتري هتلاقيها سهله لان الفيرست تو فيكتورز اكشلي سبان ان اكس واي في الثيرد جاب لك كومبوننت في الزي فما بقاش معاهم في الاكس واي فريم فالثري فيكتور ناو كان سبان اوت بس انا على الجيومتري كده فاليو والبي تحت اهو في الاكس واي فريم سبان الاكس واي فريم وادي الدبليو اهو يتحط معاهم يقدر كده يسبان الارض سو اكشلي وات وي ديد هير is to lose the condition of representation of a vector as linear combination of uh, the IJK. Remember we say for example uh, 2, 3, 4 as a vector can be written as 2 times 1, 0, 0, 3 times 0, 1, 0, 4 times 0, 0, 1. So actually we say that IJK span R3. Because any vector in R3 can be written as linear combination of these guys. According to this pro problem, any vector now in R3 can be written as linear combination actually with these guys. Because these guys also span R3. But not necessarily for the vectors to be unit vectors, IJK, or perpendicular even. We need only the vectors to be linearly in the path. How to know that they are linearly independent? Put the vectors in your matrix, reduce, get three pivots. R3, then they can span up. Okay? Look at these vectors. What can you say about these vectors? Are these linearly dependent or linearly independent? Mount the initial form diagram. Vectors they are linearly dependent or independent? Now, here's the other case. Now, then I'm going to take back four vectors, huh? Right, the equation here. Which case? Infinite number of solutions. Infinite number of solutions. Here, I'm going to actually have three pebbles and four equations. So originally I have four variables. And I can get that you want three variables. I see four that three variables. 
احنا في الكيس دي انفينيت نمبر اوف سوليوشن دي ايكويشن دي فالفيكتورز دول اكيد دي نيرلي ديبند صح كده؟ يقول لي بيبقى عندي اربعه ما عملهاش هيكون اه عايزين بقى نو كاب اكاونت اربعه طب هو الماكسيمم نمبر اوف لينير اندبندنت فيكتورز في الار 3 يبقى كام؟ دي اقصى عدد من الفيكتورز اللي تطلع لينير اندبندنت في الار 3 ثلاثه اشهرهم من اي جي كي اللي احنا بناخدهم عمرك ما هتلاقي اكتر من ثلاثه لو زودت عن ثلاثه اكيد الرابع هيتجاب لينير كومباينيشن ما بين الثلاثه حضرتك اي جي كي و اي بلس 2 جي بلس 4 كي خلاص ده لينير كومباينيشن ما بينهم فلو اديتك فور فيكتورز اكشلي ان ار 3 يبقى انت مغمض كده من غير ما تعمل اي ريدكشن فور فيكتورز وت بي لينير دي ديفاين وت كان دي سبان ار 3 عايزك تدفنشيت بين ذا تو جايد ذا تو كونسبتس We have four vectors in R3, and they are linearly dependent in this example. Can these guys span R3? Yes. I saw this. I'm not spanning the R3. You need to make three good pivots. Make three pivots. Then you can span R3. The R2 you put two pivots. No, it's not R2. I said R2. I'm talking about the vectors in R2. The vectors get us. يبقى عندي 2 بيبلز يبقى يبقى سبان ان ار 2 يعني انت محتاج عشان سبان ار 2 في الريدكشن 2 بيبلز سبان ار 3 في الريدكشن اي نيد 3 بيبلز طب عشان كده سبان ال ار 3 اي كان سي اف اي هاف 4 فيكتورز فور اكزامبل اي نيد 3 اوف ذيم تو بي لينيرلي اندبندنت اف يو هاف 3 اوف ذيم لينيرلي اندبندنت ذيم دي كان سبان ار 2 If I have, for example, something like this, the vectors here are linearly dependent. Four vectors on good of R3, automatically less than linear. Can they span R3? They can't span because you get actually only two vectors. So they span. Actually, in our street. In our street. Okay. Align in the line. Spend light in our street. Okay. And they are of course, linear to the line. I'll post the vector C. I said, I'll be at the back. They are linearly dependent or not? They span. How long is span? Even more than R two. R two, what are they? In a two dimensional space, you know. So how are they linearly independent? Can they span R two? Where are they? Dependent. They dependent R two. So three vectors in R two. Pass. We don't. We don't have to pass on numbers. Three vectors in R two would be, of course, linearly dependent. Okay, yeah, we'll have. Can they span up to? We can have a zay. We can have a reduction. Oh, let two pivots be the reduction. Oh, I know. The last two vectors, many of them, will be linearly independent. So that the last one, which must be on the bottom, the two vectors which must be on the bottom, will be linearly independent. Why? 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 If I let it go, I said two vectors linearly independent of R2, if I keep the can span R2. And the third is a redundant vector. But now we relate to other vectors with the spanning and the linear independence. There are three vectors linearly independent for R3. I spend R3. I spend R3. Now four vectors. For R3, huh? Four vectors for R3. I try to find linearly independent. In fact, why do linearly independent? Can they span R3? Sure. If one has multiple of the other, if one has many, if one has two of them, if one has three of them, for example, if one has three of them, 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 if one has three of them,
واحد موقف اللي خمسة فيكتور خمسة فيكتور خمسة فيكتور فار 3 يبقى ده اسرع حاجة بيبوكس اعمل ريدكشن الخمسة فيكتورز بتوع طلع 3 بيبوكس هيسبان على الفيلم طلع 3 بيبوكس مش هيسبان على كومبليت بقى كده المثل هنا بيقول لك لو في عندك فيكتورز بي 1 او تو بي بي ان ار ان سارش ذات بي جريتر ذات ان مثلا في 3 أي set containing a zero vector لازم تكون linearly dependent. خلاص كده الكيورد الجديدة الـ linear independent دي related مع الـ span مع الـ اوكي حلوة انتوا الاكزامبل مع كده 5 minutes let's try this example. If you take u and v only in a set and I'm going to check if this set is a linearly independent set or not. So I have the set containing only this guy. 3, 2, negative 4, negative 6, 1, 7. This is uh, U, this is V. Are these guys linearly independent? If you have only two vectors, it is simple. You don't have to do reduction. Just to check if this guy is multiple of this one or not. Is not multiple of this guy, so these vectors are linearly independent. Okay, and do the same for each pair. So we'll find that each pair is actually a linearly independent set. Okay, if you take any pair, it would be a linearly independent set. V is not a multiple of U. You check it by the ratio between components. fraction, مش لازم ده يبقى integer. ما تتعرفها بالratio برضو. Negative six over three equal negative two. One over two equal half. Not the same ratio. So this guy is not multiple of this guy. بريدكشن I put the two vectors in matrix what do we get لو هنشتغل كده بالطريقه دي هنحط two vectors اللي هو ال u وجنبك زيروز هيطلع ايه بقى what do we get if you put this matrix uh, these vectors in this form and do the reduction هتلاقي two pivots لما تلاقي two pivots هيطلع لك ايه كده؟ تعالى نكتبها بس عشان تشوف نكتب كده 3 2 negative 4 negative 6 1 7 وهنا الزيروز اللي هي اكشف كانك كاتب كده c1 u c2 v equal 0 بعد ال reduction هتلاقي two pivots اوكي يعني هتلاقي في رو راح اوكي من الاليمنيشن وتلاقي مثلا something like this 3 negative 6 0 say مثلا 0 2 0 0 0 0 0 يعني كيس infinite مم. احنا بنحل بقى البروبلم دي دلوقتي هيطلع تريفيال سوليوشن ولا هيطلع انفينيت؟ المفروض يطلع ما هو تريفيال اهو 2c2 equal 0 سبستيوت باك هتبقى c1 equal 0 يا كمان رايت right? فكده هتبقى في الكيس اكيد دي لان احنا قايلين ان هم اندبندنت فلازم تطلع الكيس دي صح؟ ما 
ما لازم ما يطلعش فري فاريبل يعني طيب فكده بارت اي هتقول لي يبقى اتش بير از لينيرلي اندبندنت سيت بالطريقه السهله بتاعت الريشيو دي هما مش بارالل فيبقوا على طول لينيرلي اندبندنت وات اباوت بارت بي بيسالك does the answer to part A imply that the set of هناخد بقى كل ال vectors u, v, w, z is linearly independent هل لو each pair is linearly independent يبقى set of the four vectors is linearly independent ممكن يكون ال z مثلا linear combination ما بين u, v, و w يطلع الصم بتاعهم مثلا انما في ال pairs مش باينة فما اقدرش احكم من بارت اي خالص يبقى بارت بي هاز ناثينج تو دو ويز بارت اي وانت بتسولف طب عشان تتشيك لو يو في دبليو زي از لينيرلي اندبندنت از ات وايز تو تشيك سي دبليو از ا لينير كومباينيشن اوف يو في اند زي از ات وايز قال تتشيك ان اليو لينير كومباينيشن ما بين الثري فيكتورز تو سولف البروبلم دي طب ممكن يطلع لك نو سوليوشن ان الدبليو كان نوت بي ريتن از لينير كومباينيشن ان نيو في ان زي هتعمل ايه بقى كده؟ هتقول يبقى دي لينير اندبندنت سيت ممكن يكون في ديبندنس ثانيه موجوده جوه يكون الزي هو اللي بيتكتب لينير كومباينيشن اوف يو في صح يعني ممكن تكون الفيكتورز كده 1 0 0 2 0 0 3 0 0 1 1 1 لو ده دبليو مثلا ما اعرفش اتشيك ده ده دبليو كان نوت بي ريتن از لينير كومباينيشن اوف ذيس جايز بس السيت دي از ا لينيرلي ديبندنت سيت لأن الفيكتور ده هو لينير كومباينيشن من ده أو ده فما تعملش كده أمال تعمل إيه؟ تعمل دي دي أنت مش عارف مين هو الـ لينير كومباينيشن أوف ذا أذرز فهتعمل دي وهي هتطلع لك لو في ريليشن بتوين ذيم ممكن تطلعها لك أوكي فمحدش يعمل دي لو سمح هتقول له إتس نوت وايز إحنا بنسولف دي عشان نعرف الـ إندبندنس انها لو طلعت trivial solution يبقى independent لو طلعت infinite هيبقى dependent دي اللي هتصوب هما دول اربعة نيجي بقى لاخر واحدة بقى نستخدم الثيرم اسرع بقى بيقولك هما بقى linear dependent ولا لا الفور vectors اكيد بقى ايه من الثيرم اللي احنا لسه قايلينها طالما فور vectors in R3 for sure they would be linear dependent لأن الماكسيمم نمبر اوف بيفلز اللي هتحصل عليه كام؟ تلاتة، إن هما 3 في 3 دايمنشن، فأقصى عدد من البيفلز ممكن توصل له 3، والإكويجن هتبقى كده، فيها 4 فيكتورز، ففي 4 أنونز أصلاً أنت بادي بيهم، ففي واحد لازم هيطلع فري أت ليست. ما هو ليه 3 كومبوننت أهو؟ ما أي فيكتور ليه 3 كومبوننت كده بيبقى بنقول عليه بيلونج تو R3. اتفضل. سبانو بلين في الار 3 اون ماشي انا بسال على انا بسال على الار 3 لو بسال على الار 3 هم سبانو الار 3 لا بلين ده حته من الار 3 بلين جوه الار 3 ممكن حسب البيفوس اللي هتحصل عليها كام بقى ده لو ده السؤال بقى فهنا كنا بنتشيك بس الديبندنس وقلنا انا مش محتاج اعمل ريدكشن طالما دول فور فيكتورز في ار 3 فاكيد هيطلعوا ديبند هل يعملوا سبان بقى الار 3 ولا لا ده سؤال تاني تعرف منين بقى دي دي تعمل الريدكشن وتشوف البيفوتس كام بيفوت هيطلع لك لا لك 3 بيفوتس يبقى يقدروا يسبانوا ار 3 اوكي ديبند ديبند عشان فور فيكتورز ان ار 3 لا لا ان جنرال الكونسبت بتكلم على الكونسبت يعني انا حتى ممكن لو مش واخد بالي من الثيرم دي اجرب احل دي 
وهار وهتطلع ديبندنس اوكي انما الثيرم طبعا اقوى لو حد في باله الثيرم ما يعملش ريدكشن خالص في البروبلم دي انما لو زودت لك تحت ريكويرمنت كمان دو ذيس فيكتورز سبان ار 3 ولا لا كده انا هجبرك كده تعمل ريدكشن عشان تعرف طلعت 3 بيفوتس ولا لا اوكي على فكره هنتكلم عنها ليتر اون اللوكيشن بتاع البيفوتس ليه علاقه ما بين بالفيكتورز اللي لينيرلي اندبندنت في الست يعني بص كده لو انا بعمل مثلا ريدكشن ووصلت لحاجه زي كده عندي دي يعني من هنا كده لو انت حاطط دول جوه ماتريكس هتلاقي الماتريكس اكشلي في الاشلون فورم دايركتلي وهتلاقي البيفوتس بتوعك ال1 وال2 وال1 اللي هنا صح دول اكشلي هيطلعوا اللوكيشن بتاع الفيكتورز اللي لينيرلي اندبندنت جوه الست بتاعتك انت عندك فور فيكتورز دلوقتي في منهم اكيد 3 تقدر تكتبهم از لينير اندبندنت سيت ممكن تاخد دول على طول ده وده وده هم لينيرلي اندبندنت اللي هي البيفوت كولمز بنقول عليه ده ريداندنت اوكي ده مالتيبل من ده فممكن دول لوحدهم كده يعملوا سبانينج لار 3 لو حطيت لك ده معاهم اكيد برضه ستيل هسبان ار 3 اوكي واضح الفكره بتاعت الاندبندنت سيت والديبندنت سيت يبقى السيت بقول عليها اندبندنت امتى اه هسولف البروبلم دي وتطلع لي التريفيال سوليوشن اون المينينج بتاعها You cannot write any vector as linear combination of the others. You can write case that is independent set. Otherwise, it is dependent set. You can write any of them at a linear combination of them, at least one. Okay.